Hello students, let's do simple linear equations, exercise 14c. Question 25, so let's begin. 21, now we multiply minus 3 into x, that is minus 3x. Then we do minus 3 into minus 7. Minus into minus is plus, 3 sevens are 21. On the right hand side, we have x plus 20. So here, let's see if we can work with the whole numbers here. We have plus 21 and plus 21. 21 plus 21 is 42. And we have minus 3x. And on the right hand side, we have x plus 20. Now we have x on both sides and numbers on both sides. So let's put all the x together. We already have minus 3x. Now we're going to transpose x from the right hand side to the left. It becomes minus x. On the right hand side, we already have 20. We're going to transpose 42 from the left to the right. It's going to become minus 42. So here we have 3x minus 1x. Minus 3x minus 1x. So let's work on the numbers. Signs are the same. So we put the same sign. Now numbers 3 plus 1 is 4. So 4x is equal to 20 minus 42. Signs are different. So we put the sign of the bigger number and we subtract 42 minus 20. So 2 and 2, 22 minus 22. 4x minus 4x is minus 22. So the value of x will be minus 22 divided by minus 4. So minus into minus is plus. Now we have to divide 22 by 4. 4 fives are 20 minus 2. So what do we get here? 5, 2 by 4. So as you can see here, I can leave my whole number as it is, but I can reduce my fraction to the lowest term. 2 by 4, I can divide both by 2. So I get 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. So I have reduced that to the lowest term. So now my answer is 5 1 by 2. So let me write that down there. So now we have found the value of x. x is equal to 5 1 by 2. This is our answer. Question 26. So let's work out what's on the left hand side first. So let's write that down. 3x minus 2 divided by 7 minus x minus 2 divided by 4. So this is subtraction of fractions. We have to find the LCM of the denominators 7 and 4. Let's begin with 7. 7 ones are 7. We write down 4 and then I continue. This time I take 2. 2 twos are 4. I can continue with 2. 1 and 1. So the LCM is 7 into 2 into 2. 7 twos are 14. 14 twos are 28. So we're going to use 28 as a common denominator. So now 7 fours are 28. So I have to multiply this whole thing by 4. Now what do we get? First I multiply 4 into 3x. 4 threes are 12. So I get 12x. Then I multiply 4 into minus 2. Minus 4 twos are 8. Now let's go to the second fraction. 4 sevens are 28, so I multiply this by 7. Now since I have a minus sign, I have to put the minus sign and the rest within brackets. 7 into x is 7x. 7 into minus 2 is minus 14. Now let's open the brackets. So 12x minus 8. If you see minus before a bracket, the sign of all the terms inside will change. So it becomes minus 7x plus 14 and the whole thing divided by 28. Now let's work on the x. 7x, 12x minus 7x. 12 minus 7 is 5. So that is 5x. Let's work on the numbers. Minus 8 plus 14. Signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number plus and subtract. 14 minus 8 is 6. So 5x plus 6 divided by 28 is what we have got. Let's write that down. 5x plus 6 divided by 28 is equal to 2. 
So let's continue here. So 5x plus 6 will be 2 into 28 because we have transposed this 28 from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now let's continue. So here 5x plus 6 is equal to 28 into 2 which is 56. To find the value of 5x we say 56 minus 6 because we have transposed this plus 6 from the left hand side to the right it's become minus 6. So the value of 5x is equal to 56 minus 6 which is 50. Now we can find the value of x we say 50 divided by 5 because here this multiplication and when you transpose it it becomes division. Now 50 divided by 5, 5 tens are 50. So we have found the value of x, x is equal to 10. This is our final answer. Question 27. So let's work out what's on the left hand side first. So we have 2x minus 3 by 3 minus x minus 5. So this is minus x minus 5. Let me put it in brackets. Now let's give this the denominator 1. So now since you are like fractions, we have to find the LCM. The LCM of 3 and 1 will be 3. Now 3 into 1 is 3. So we multiply this also by 1. So 1 into that term will give us the same thing as it is because it's multiplication by 1. So we write that as it is. Let's go on to the next one. 1, 3s are 3. So we multiply this by 3. So we can multiply by minus 3. Minus 3 into x is minus 3x. Minus 3 into minus 5. Minus into minus is plus. 3 fives are 15. Now let's take the like terms 2x and minus 3x. So this is plus 2x minus 3x. Signs are different, so put the sign the bigger number and subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1x. And now let's take the whole numbers. We have minus 3 and plus 15. So again, signs are different. Put the sign the bigger number and subtract. 15 minus 3 is 12. So we have this. Let's write this down here. So what have we got? Minus 1x means minus x plus 12 by 3 equals x by 3. On the left hand side, let's leave minus x by plus 12 as it is. On the right hand side, let's leave x by 3 also as it is. And let's transpose this 3, which is division, to the right hand side. It now becomes multiplication into 3. Now I can cancel this 3 and this 3. So what I have left is only x. So now let me write minus x plus 12 equals x. Now let's move all the x to the right hand side. So we have minus x here. Let's transpose this to the right hand side. It's going to become plus x. So we'll do that now. So 12 will remain here. So 12 will remain here. x will remain there. The other x becomes plus x. So now here what do we have? x plus x that is 1x plus 1x is 2x. So 2x is equal to 12. Now we can find the value of x. This will be 12 divided by 2 because we have transposed this 2 to the right hand side. So 12 divided by 2. 2 sixes are 12. So now we have found the value of x. x is equal to 6. Question 28. So here also we have fractions on both the sides, on the left hand side and the right hand side. Let's first work out what's on the right hand side since we have 2 there and it's addition. So x plus 3 by 7 plus x plus 4 by 5. Now we need to find the LCM of the denominators but since 7 and 5 are both prime numbers, we just have to multiply those two. 7 fives are 35 and that is your LCM. Okay, now let's continue. 7 fives are 35. So multiply this whole thing by 5. 
So 5 into x is 5x and 5 into 3 is 15, so plus 15. Let's move to the other fraction. Here, 5 sevenths are 35, so let's multiply this whole thing by 7. So we have plus 7 into x is 7x plus 7 fourths are 28. Now let's work on 5x and 7x. 5x plus 7x is 5 plus 7 is 12. So that is 12x. Let's take 15 plus 28. 15 plus 28, we can add it up. 15 and 28, add it up. 5 plus 8 is 13, carry 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 43 by 35. So let's write it down here. So on the left hand side, we have x minus 4 by 7. And on the right hand side, we have 12x plus 43 by 35. So let's transpose 35 to the left hand side. So here it is division. When it moves there, it becomes multiplication. So this will be x minus 4 by 7 into 35 is equal to 12x plus 43. Now here we can cancel 7 and 35. 7 5s are 35. So I need to multiply 5 into x minus 4. So that is 5 into x minus 4 on the left hand side is equal to 12x plus 43. So let's work this out. 5 into x is 5x minus 5 fourths are 20 equals 12x plus 43. So let's get all the x terms to the left hand side and all the whole numbers to the right hand side. So we already have 5x here. Now we are going to bring plus 12x to the side so it becomes minus 12x. So we have transposed this to the left hand side. Now we're going to transpose minus 20 to the right hand side. So it's going to become plus 20. So here on the right hand side, now we have 43, now plus 20. So let's work this out. Here signs are different. So we have to put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 12 minus 5 is 7. So that's 7x is equal to 43 plus 20 is 63. So that means x will be 63 by minus 7. So let's do this division. The sign is plus. Plus into minus is minus. 63 divided by 7. 7 nines are 63. So we have found the value of x. x is equal to minus 9. So this is our answer. x is equal to minus 9. Question 29. Now we have x fractions on the left side as well as the right. What we can do first is transpose this to the left hand side. So what do we have here? We have x minus 1 by 5. Then we have minus x by 3. Now when you transpose it becomes plus x minus 2 by 2. All this is equal to 1. So let's work out these three. All three fractions that we have here 1, 2 and 3. So let's begin with that one. We have x minus 1 by 5. Then we have minus x by 3 plus x minus 2 by 2. So now we have 5, 3 and 2. Let's find the LCM of 5, 3 and 2. 5, 1, 3 and 2. Again we have 3, 1, 1 and 2. Now we have 2, 1, 1 and 1. So the LCM is 5 into 3 into 2. 5 3 is a 15, 15 2 is a 30. So the LCM here is 30. Now let's find a new numerators. 5 6 is a 30. So we multiply this by 6. So what do we get? 6 into x is 6x. 6, 6 into minus 1 is minus 6. Now let's go on to the next one. 3 into 10 is 30, so x into 10. So sine is minus, x into 10 is 10x. Now 2 into 15, so we multiply this by 15. 
15 into x is 15x plus 15x minus 15 to are 30. So now let's work on the x. We have 6x minus 10x plus 15x. Let's write it down here. 6x minus 10x plus 15x. So add up the numbers with a plus sign. 6 plus 15 is 21. 21x minus 10x. 21 minus 10 is 11. 11x. So we have 11x. Now let's take the whole numbers. We have minus 6 and minus 30. Signs are the same, so put the same sign and add. 30 plus 6 is 36 by 30. So we'll write it down here. We have 11x minus 36 by 30 equals 1. So that is 11x is equal, minus 36 is equal to 1 into 30. We have transposed this 30 to the right hand side. It's become multiplication. So here what do we have? 11x minus 36 equals 30. Therefore, 11x is equal to 30 plus 36. So 11x is equal to 30 plus 36 is 66. That means x is equal to 66 divided by 11. 11, 6 is our 66. So we have found the answer to x. x is equal to 6. This is our final answer. x is equal to 6. This is 30. Let's work this out. So this is 2x plus 20% is 20 by 100. Off is into x. This is equal to 12.1. So now let's work out this, the multiplication part. So here, this will remain the same as 2x. Now here, what do we have? 20 into x is 20x by 100. This is equal to 12.1. Now let's work out this. So we'll take this to the working column and work this out there. So we have 2x plus 20x by 100. So here we're going to write the denominator 1. So the denominators are 1 and 100. So the LCM is going to be 100. So 1 into 100 here. So here it will be 2x into 100. So 2 into 100 is 200x. And on the other side, we have 100 into 1. So 20x into 1 will be 20x itself. So what do we have here? 200x plus 20x is 220x by 100. So here we can cancel. Let me cancel the zeros. So what do we have left now? We have 22x by 10. So let's write that down here. 22x by 10 is equal to 12.1. So that means 22x is equal to 12.1 into 10. That is because we have transposed this 10 to the right hand side. So now 22x is equal to, now when you multiply a number, a decimal number by 10, the point moves one place to the right. Because 10 has 1, 0. So here we have 121.0 or simply 121. Now to find the value of x, we say 121 divided by 22. We can cancel both by 11. 11, when you divide both by 11, what do you get? We get 11, 11s are 121 and 11, 2s are 22. So 11 by 2, which we are going to divide. 11 divided by 2. 2 fives are 10 minus 1. So here, what do we have? 5, 1 by 2. So here we've got 5, 1 by 2. So we have found the value of x. x is equal to 5, 1 by 2. So this is a final answer. So with this, children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.